Welcome to today's Daily Awesome. I'm Steve Maeda, your host for this podcast. This is actually being recorded on Sunday on our members call. It is June 4th, June 4th, 2017. And welcome everybody. This is a podcast about men's development where we talk about things that men go through and are actually running dialogues of what happens within our groups. And we usually don't record on this call because it's a membership call and man, it's good stuff. This is about communication. This podcast today is about how you come across as a man and how important that is. How, how you put yourself out there in the world and if you don't take care of that, what are some of the consequences or how that may affect you. And one thing that I'll start off with prefacing this is really a lot of these podcasts that we give because these come from our calls and guys are interacting and and so on. And these are things that are brought up. And this was actually a situation that occurred to me the other day and that kind of happens a lot where somebody put themselves out there and they put themselves out there wrong and it reminded me of myself. So these are oftentimes conversations with the 39-year-old Steve Maeda or the 39-year-old Steve Maeda, that's me now, giving a talk to who I was when I was 30 or 28 or 27 or Jesus, man, when I was 22. I was nuts. I work with so many men that are better off than I was. So I just, I just want to say that. I mean, and one of the reasons why I have so much advice on this sort of thing is because I screwed up a lot. But not only that, for 11 years of that screwing up and figuring it out, and still am, man, I was coaching. So I was always working with men at a, at a voracious level. It was, it was crazy. It was crazy. And you just develop so much. And one of the benefits is you develop a community. If you want to be a part of that community, click the free stuff link down below. On that page, you can watch a video of this if you're listening to it on iTunes or Stitcher. Or you can also uh, download our free PDF for the month. You can also... Uh, join our free Austin Men's Development Group. I would highly recommend that. You do not need to live in Austin to be a part of that. And then also, if you wanted to go into our paid memberships, you can find out about them there. Let's get into this. So how this goes is, this happens to me all the time. Somebody comes up to me or they see me in Austin, and I I don't want to say like I'm some super famous guy or anything like that, but they run into me, and I've been doing this a long time. They watch one of my speeches, and they say, say, man, man, I've heard your stuff. And which is great. You know, I love that. I I love talking to people. I may not be in the most social mood at the time because maybe I'm actually working with a client like the situation was yesterday or, uh, you know, this happens all the time at jujitsu tournaments, which is actually a whole funny uh, side of things or even in jujitsu schools because a lot of times those guys, they may know me as that be into the advice I might be giving, but they're afraid to ask me. And I don't know, man, there's a lot I could say about that. But the thing is, is that this guy came up And as soon as he, uh, man, and there's so many guys like this, as soon as he was like, hey, yeah, you know, I've listened to your podcast and blah, 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 blah. He starts giving me advice, all right? And he starts giving me advice and he starts like kind of questioning, or at least that's how it came across, right? And this is not a good thing, all right? Now, I am somebody that have made a lot of wrong decisions in my life, but I've moved up in the world massively through my ability to socialize and connect with people and seeing that as one of the most valuable things in my life. And in fact, that is what I started teaching in and it is so important. If you come across as somebody that is, and he may have not meant this, he may have not, and I cut the conversation with him. You know, I don't wanna have that conversation. I don't, I don't need to train him to learn to be a better, a better person. He should listen to my podcast more, right? but he's not paying me for coaching, but he was like, Oh man, it's great. But you know, you know what you, what you teach is, is uh, kind of like, they're just like tricks or simple things that you do that, that uh, most guys get, you know? And it's like, you don't, you don't need, like, it's a scam right now and saying things like that. Right. And I was like, well, you know, there's a lot of bullshit in the industry, but you know, I've done this for a long time and take it very seriously. And I wouldn't think things like, you know, sexual addiction or major social anxiety or wanting to have the best sex life you want are bad things or they're, they're things that can't be taught or whatever. And, and I started to ask him, I was like, Hey man, do you have like all the friends that you want in your life? Like, really? Like, do you, are you where you're at with the things that you want? I have a really good life with things that I want and I still want to go further. So, you know, that's really what we do in our groups and talk about and so on. He just kept coming at me with this stuff, like as if he wanted me to tell him the secret behind it all, uh, just to a stranger on the street, of course, that I'm going to reveal that this is all just smoke and mirrors and bullshit and blah, 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 blah. And I get it. There's a lot of that out there. And I just actually ended up cutting. I was like, man, I got to get back to this. But, you know, nice meeting you, blah, 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 blah. I will never give that guy 
my presence again. And I will never talk to anybody who comes across as if they were insulting me beforehand. Now, I'm not sure if that was his goal, but there's so many guys out there that come across poorly and you should never do that. First off, this is one thing that I tell guys when they start out. All right. And sometimes I should listen to my own advice and I'll get into this a little bit, but if you can change it, change it, look your best, come across the best that you can if you have control over it. All right. So these are things like how, how you dress, how you wear your hair, how you groom yourself and so on. Now, this is where I should talk to myself because I've always gotten by without doing that. And I've always had kind of a, a free sort of, uh, I don't want to say hippie vibe, but man, I just didn't give a shit for a long time. I played in punk bands and traveled as a true vagabond and like really living in some, uh, uh, man, just not caring about the kind of social norm. So I've always kind of rebelled against that, but I made it harder on myself doing that. Man, if you want to have people respect you, then start looking, dressing, and acting like the people you respect. That doesn't mean you need to be a guy in a suit. That means that you need to be the guy that you want to be. And you should do that. Fix those things. If you can change it, change it. It's going to help you. It's only going to help you with a little bit. It's only going to help you with a first impression. But man, this guy got two minutes of my time and that's not good. And if he could have made that to uh, plenty of people, man, I met, I met somebody last night that was just great, man. A beautiful woman, amazing woman, amazing. Everything about her in the first two minutes was great. Was, was, was awesome. Was respectful. Was ladylike. Was all the, like, man, you want that. You want that as a man. So if you can change your for your first facade that goes out there, it's not going to change you fix it. The next thing you need to do is you, when you communicate with somebody, it is a two way street. Whenever I meet somebody, man, I have a smile on my face. I want to know more. I ask things about them. And even to a point where I may demand it, not in a disrespectful way, but I'll say like, Hey man, I'd like to get to know real people. So, you know, what, what are you passionate about? You know, really have that conversation with me. I don't want to talk about the weather or what everybody else thinks is important. I want to talk about you. If we're talking, I want to get to know you. And I don't speak to them aggressively like that, but man, I allow it to have fun. And we always talk about this in terms of social dynamics. There are basically seven things that you can control that you output. Man, that is your tonality, your facial expressions, your pacing of how you deliver things. You know, how you may be physical with somebody, you may touch them, you may shake your hand, they shake their hand, you may get closer, you may, uh, you know, move far apart, you may angle yourselves in different ways, you know, and of course, we always, always want to focus on the verbals, we always want to focus on what we say, but man, there's so much more to it than that. You get so much out of just putting your presence there, getting in front of somebody, you know, smiling, making them feel good, making them feel welcome. And this is another thing too, is what makes people resistant to talking to you is going to be, so basically think about this. Every single person that you meet would love to share their real self with you if they had the opportunity. Now, of course, some lady walking to work and she's got a business meeting or you have a business meeting or whatever it is. Sure, you want to get to that business meeting. You don't want to be interrupted to show your real self. But if you're out and about and you're looking because we all need a social life, every single person out there wants at least an hour a day where they could just be themselves, relax and have a great conversation. Everybody wants that and nobody's having that. And so you could find that one hour a day in a lot of places with a lot of people. And if you put yourself in front of anybody, you should always put yourself in front of them so that they could have that great hour a day conversation. That all being said, what's keeping them from having that conversation? Everybody wants to show their real self and think about this, man, you wouldn't show your real self if you were being judged, if you don't understand what they're talking about. Maybe if you don't understand what they're talking about, you might come across stupid, right? So not being able to answer, not seeing that that person would understand you, would keep them. You know, what's going to keep you, and think about this, from talking about what your true goals, your true dreams, your aspirations are, what you want to do, what your, what, if you had no fears, what you would be, if you could have your ideal relationship, if you could have your passion. And this is what we talk about with all the rapport cycling stuff that we, we break down. What's keeping you from that? You would tell everybody. You would love to tell everybody. You know, and you would love to tell everybody maybe in a crowd of people, but even more so, you would love to tell one person in front of you. And if they really got it, it would mean something, you know, and to a guy that's been sitting in front of a computer all day long 
or whatever. He's like, well, what would be the value of that? What would be the value of that? Well, human connection is great. You'd love it. So, so I would love to have that conversation with somebody, but what's keeping them, right? There's that judgment. There's not being understood, the lack of definition, the confusion around it. Those things keep me from doing it. So if I can put that out there with somebody and alleviate those, I am now giving the gift of that person having that one hour, awesome conversation, piece of social food that everybody's dying to have, right? And it may not be with everybody because it may not be that, that person's hour at the moment you talk to them. But man, I guarantee you, if you try with five people, it's gonna be one of those people's hour. It's gonna be two, maybe three of those people's hour to have that conversation. And so what I do to alleviate that is I just, I, I say things like, man, how are you doing? You know, a lot of people don't say that anymore. Like, really, really, how are you doing? Or if somebody comes up to me and they say, like, man, I've listened to your podcast. Or I come across somebody and I go, holy shit, dude, I can't believe it. Like, I, the other day I ran into a guy in an elevator who's a pretty prominent guy online that I've met actually maybe like seven or eight years ago. And I was like, man, whoa, you don't remember me, but I met you and you probably have a bunch of people talking to you. Anyway, I appreciate you. I, I have... Listen to a lot of your stuff and it's really helped me out. And then, because it actually has, I specifically told him. You know, and I said, man, do you remember like seven or eight years ago, you knew this one dude, I don't want to bring up their names or whatever, but like, you know, this one dude and he actually wrote an ebook, and you helped market it for him. What helped me out most about that was that it was possible to be done. Like, I couldn't believe it. You know, the guy made $7,000 in, in a night or you guys made or whatever it was, but it was just like, holy shit, and it opened up my world. It was just such a cool thing. And then throughout then, you know, I've watched your talks and so on and blah, 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 blah. And it was like, man, you, you have a good day. I don't want to take any more of your time. Nice to meet you. I don't know what he's thinking about me, but I'm giving him every opportunity to have a good impression of me and that I value his stuff, that I actually knew him. You know, it wasn't just a facade. It wasn't some starstruck thing. And man, number one is I'm not giving him advice or telling him that his, his stuff is bullshit, you know? God, dude, why would I do that? And if I did think somebody's bullshit was something, I wouldn't even have a conversation with them. I'd avoid them. So that all being said, let's say it's somebody that, you know, it's, we're not starting off with me going, hey, I'm a fan of yours. What if I talk to somebody and I actually say something like, no, no, no. Like, you know, most people don't say how you're doing or whatever. And, and just, yeah, how are you doing? You know, and they say like, they say, no, 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 I'm, I'm good. Or why would you ask that? Or, you know, I'm, I'm busy with something. I say, oh no, man, I just, you know, I like to get to, to, to meet people, but if you're busy, that's totally cool. But, um, real quick, right. I was asking this with my buddies and it's such a different question when you ask people on the street, but, but what is it that you live for? All right. Once again, confusion, lack of definition, right? What if I judge them? What if they sound stupid? And what if they don't understand, or I don't understand what they're saying? These are things that are gonna keep them from answering that question, right? And, and if I want them to answer that question, I wanna open up a door to it, see if they have, it's that hour that they can have a conversation with me, right? That, that gift that I can give. And basically, I could say, well, look, you know, I know it may be confusing, so I'm gonna define it. It may be confusing, but it's like, you know, a lot of people say they live for family or whatever, but we don't spend our time doing it. And just kind of the first thing that came to your mind, because probably something did come to your mind, of what it is that you, you really live for. Now I want to take away the judgment and say that I want to understand them. right? And I may not literally say it, but it's going to be very simple and to the point. And these are one or two sentence you know, components to it all, because I don't want to make it more confusing. And I just say, hey, you know, like, and, and man, I, I hear all sorts of stuff. But the most important thing is, is I think the value of a person that comes out. So... You know, I'm not trying to judge you anything here. It's just I'm, I'm looking for that. And I know it's probably probably pretty cool. And you don't have to answer it if you don't want to and, and go about your day. But anyway, yeah, so what is that? What, what, what would that be that you would say you live for? It's totally cool. And then they might tell me because they'll tell me that one word answer. And then I can explain what I do. And then we start exchanging, man. And these aren't the conversations that you have to have. But man, realize your potential of empathy. Realize your potential of connection that you can have it with everybody. And you'll stop needing to come across like an ass in order to make your point. And really, it's the worst way to do it. Guys, if you're looking to improve your communication skills and relationships are everything in life, all you need to do is one, fix the things that you can immediately. Get some better clothes, get some, something that fits the image that you are and the truth that you believe in. Number two, you can get a haircut, which I haven't gotten in a while, but man, I kind of like the free vibe. I haven't, I haven't had my hair this long in a while. 
you know, take care of yourself. Take care of yourself and be the image that you want. You don't have to be the image that other people tell you. Define it for yourself. And then, of course, learn how amazing it is to connect with other people and have a good impression, get a piece of them, share it, have them get a piece of you, have them share it and interact. Because when we're actually sharing and connecting, we're making choices about each other and not judgments. And judgments are what every Everybody fears. You do that, your life's going to live a lot better. And if you want to get involved with a group that really holds you accountable in these ways, that's what we do. So go to the free stuff link down below. You can watch the video if you're listening on iTunes or Stitcher or Podbean or whatever it is that you're listening to. And of course, subscribe to it and all that stuff, right? Reviews. But most importantly, what I'd say is that you should join our Austin Men's Development Group. That's for free. If you want to step it up, there's paid groups and there's a free PDF for every podcast that we release. So go to that free stuff link and check it out. In any case, that's it for today. Have a good Sunday. We'll talk to you guys soon.